An audit exposing a nearly $50 million gap in mental health services also claims that the jail is the easiest place to get access to mental health services. So a move is now underway to get results and change that, but News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval found it's not going to be easy or cheap. My daughter has a, a, a mind of a 13-year-old, but her age is 44 years old. And Joseph Castro says his daughter Cecilia doesn't belong in jail. My daughter, is, you know, she's mentally challenged. She's very depressive. She's autistic. Cecilia was arrested at the group home she was living in on Easter Sunday. Witnesses say she punched someone else living there during an argument. Deputies brought her to the Polk County Jail and charged her with battery. I'm trying to get her out of this position and put her in the right position so she can get the treatment and care that she needs not to be in here. You don't think she should have been in jail in the first no, place? No, I don't. The Polk County Sheriff's Office tells me they stand by their decision to take Cecilia to jail because she was accused of a crime. I think mental health does not belong in the jail. But Dr. Gregory Constant Peter says she sees a lot of inmates with mental illness come through the Orange County Jail, where she works as assistant medical director. She says the services they provide here are good. But like Joseph Castro, she believes some of the inmates should not have made it past the booking process. That patients should should be screened while they were, you know, while they were at mom and dad or what at the scene that they were at, for them to be brought into a mental health facility where they can get, you know, the, the proper care that they need. The doctor's concerns were echoed in a recent United Way audit that identified nearly $50 million in gaps in mental health services in Orange County. As a result, New 6 found out a team is now working to implement new programs to keep people out of jail and into mental health treatment. Some of those programs include more crisis intervention training for officers to identify when they're dealing with a mental health issue. An Orange County adult mobile crisis unit that could respond to incidents. The opening of mental health drop-in centers and better support for those who are arrested and booked into jail. The projected price tag so far for all of this, at least $12.7 million. There's like half of this spent on early childhood. Donna White heads up Orange County's mental health services. We've got to get to those kids and families early so they can learn to live with this disease and, you know, be great members of, of our society. White says developing an action plan for these services will take about a year. It's a lot of work, but it's necessary work. And we plan to get it done. The group implementing these new programs are also going to have to come up with ways to pay for them. We understand that that's going to come from a combination of private medical providers, philanthropists, even some government money thrown in there. They have a deadline of next year to come up with their final report, and we will be watching to see what happens. We're in Orange County. Eric Sandoval, getting results. News 6.